Hi guys, uh, Dave here, uh, G7IYK. Um, so another small video. Um, this is um, to do with the transmit function. So far we've been sort of concentrating on getting SDR console to talk to the, the Pluto plus SDR and uh, then we um, we uh, use the converter function in SDR console in order to get the um, receive signal from the satellite. Um, in this case, what we're looking at is the central PSK beacon sitting at or appearing to sit at the actual um, transmit or downlink frequency of the satellite, which is the central PSK beacon is at 10489750 in the center. That's kind of where it's sitting. And we've used the converter function in order to achieve that. Um, so effectively using the converter function to shift our, our LM, LM, bullseye LMB, LM, LMB uh, IF to the transmit downlink uh, frequency. So um, now we have a look at what we're going to do with the transmit side of things. So uh, the uplink to the satellite is approximately 2.4 gigahertz. So if I pull up a band plan here, so this is the uh, narrowband transponder we, we have been looking at the downlink which is the top row of frequencies if you look at the bottom row of frequencies this is the uplink so uh, again that's with reference to the PSK beacon it's on the uplink its edges are uh, 2.4245 and 2.4255 so the center of that beacon is 2 2.4250 that's that's where the center is. so that's what we're kind of naming at 2.4250 um, okay, so that, well, first of all, let's work out how do we actually get, a, how do we actually transmit, that's irrespective of frequency. So that's pretty simple. You just go to, uh, in SDR console, you just go to transmit, and then there's um, um, a button over here, sort of display the transmit DSP panel. So um, off we go. And I've docked it over here on, on the right hand side. Um, all good. So we can see at the moment that the frequency is just some sort of arbitrary number. Um, it's got some really nice features. Um, one of which is allow allows us to sync to the to the RX. So we're thinking, well, why why would we want to do that? Well, okay, this just well, let's just do it. We can sync the RX frequency. We can sync the RX mode. Well, we definitely want to sync the RX mode because we will, we want you know we're upper sideband on the downlink, so we're upper sideband on the uplink. So we want to do that. Um, now, if we sync the RX frequency, et voila. So whatever frequency we receive on is the frequency we transmit on. But that. Which is this is what we want to do because if we're if we're listening to somebody on some frequency, I mean, I mean, no, we're looking at the the, the PSK PSK beacon here, but say we were listening to a downlink ham sit calling CQ like this chap that's just appeared over here, um, or has appeared and disappeared. We it would be nice if we didn't have to work all these frequencies out, you know, because we've got a dissimilar downlink and uplink frequency. So if if we could transmit. On the frequency we were receiving on that would be ideal so but as i said the uplink is 2.4250 for the central beacon so how do we do that well we again we can use the really cool uh converter function in uh, sdr console so if we go back to home and we stop this and then we go to select radio and here we we've, we got our converter selected, which we, we set up for the receive. So if we look at definitions, here, and we got the converter ticked, and we want to edit the converter. So just we've already set the receiver up, and remember we put that magic number in. So now, uh, so we've got a down converter. Now we've we got a we've got a we've we selected RX. Remember way back, I said let's just worry about the RX for now, we'll worry about the TX later well then now let's worry about the TX, so we're going to select TX RX, so if you select TX RX, then the TX panel here um, which is currently greyed out becomes becomes active, so okay so what magic number are we going to put in there um, well, let's have a think um, we are let's get a calculator so our central beacon um, is on an uplink of 2.5, 2.4250, sorry, 2.4250. Um, and but we actually want to represent that um, with a mimic of the receive freak, the, with, with the downlink, which is 10489750. So all we need to do to get that to happen is just work out the difference. So literally, all we have to do here is go 10. 
four eight nine seven fifty, which is our uh, the downlink frequency we're kind of aiming at, uh, minus two four zero zero two fifty. There is our magic number. We need this up. We need this transmit converter to shift us by eight zero eight nine five hundred. So okay, uh, we put that in eight zero. Oh, Memory like a sieve. I've forgotten already. Zero eight zero eight nine, not five nine eight nine five hundred. So that's what it's going to shift us by eight zero eight nine. Get it back. Eight zero eight nine five hundred. Cool. Apply, save, save, oh, open. So there we go. So now, so if we look over at the TX window, we've mimicked the RX, we've told the RX to, to we've told it to sync the RX frequency. And we can see here that we've got a up arrow, up convert, 80595.5 five, five, or 500 or whatever. So, yeah, that's what it's going to shift us by. So, does this actually work? Well, we will come find out. So, if I if I um, zoom out a little bit and put the put my, this is an empty part of the band just above the beacon. Nobody's there. It's pretty early in the morning here in the UK. So, um, yeah, everybody's probably if they've got any sense to sleep. So, uh, what we can do is just well, let's have a go. Let's transmit something. So, I've got my drive set to 50%. So, I'm probably not transmitting all that much power. I'm expecting if I see a signal for it to be about the size of this beacon, probably hopefully a little bit less. So, uh, rather than sort of calling CQ or talking, we can select tone. So, we're just going to transmit. Um, and if we look at the, the setup here, uh, tone tone generator so this is going to generate uh let's say generate a two kilohertz single tone okay let's just do that so if we hit tx there's our tone there there we are there, there's our there, that's us on the downlink see I'm, I'm transmitting over here but we're actually seeing the signal here if i turn the tx off there's our signals. So we're, we're transmitting up to the satellite and then we're seeing our own signal on the downlink. The problem, the only thing is, we there's a bit of a, it's probably a bit too much power actually. It seems, well, we're only transmitting a tone. But the uh, the thing is, what, what, we, what we really would like was would, would be for that tone to appear at the same, there's obviously a shift in frequency, you know, we're, we're telling it to transmit at one frequency and then, you know, it's going, but we're probably our transmitter is not absolutely bang on. So it's probably transmitting slightly off frequency. Uh, we know the receives okay, because we've already set that up. So we know that's reasonably bang on, but that's not to say that, you know, um, our transmitter is absolutely bang on. Clearly it's not because we're, 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 we're transmitting here at 754 which is uh, 75488 kind of over here or over here uh, there about sort of there transmitting in the middle and we're actually getting our tone over here so what what we need to do in order to fix that is just we just need to fine tune that 8089.5 such that our tone then appears where we're actually trans where we're actually transmitting it which is in the center of this in the center of this band so uh yeah i'll be back in a minute to to show us how to how to do that okay guys uh day back again g7iyk so uh this is just a little uh, exercise in correcting our tx uh frequency uh, or correcting our, our up our up converter 80895 uh figure so that our tone is in the right place um so i mean it's not a big deal at the end of the day because if even if it wasn't even if our our, our transmission wasn't in the right place um the person listening can can still lock on to it so it's it's not the end of the world uh, but it just i just would like it in the right place so uh how do we do that well first of all we have to measure the offset so we have to measure um 
where the tone is appearing compared with where it should appear. So um, the way to do that is if we if we transmit our tone, there it is. See, it's just appeared there. It, about, it appears about here. So if we put this on the side of that on on that tone there, and we record that that value. So that's uh, ten four eight nine. God, I wish it wouldn't disappear. Ten four eight nine seven five eight seven. Oh, so annoying. Seven five eight eight eighty. Seven five eight eight eighty. Yeah, four eight nine seven five eight eight eighty. Okay, so that's where our tone. Ten four eight nine seven five eight. 880 thereabouts ish so that stop transmitting that so uh if we get our panel back here now uh this is so that's so we're transmitting so the tone's coming out slightly high so uh let's work out the difference 10 4 8 9 7 5 8 880 that's what we just measured minus the frequency we should be on 10 4 8 9 7 5 4 1 60 equals uh 4.7 4 well 4.7 kilohertz but you've got to take into account we're transmitting a, well i set up a two kilohertz tone so that two kilohertz tone is is so the, the, the two kilohertz we're going to be offset by two kilohertz so so from that 4.7 kilohertz we've just measured we need to subtract two kilohertz so now that leaves us with two seven two point seven two kilohertz okay so now what we need to do is take our um our our up our frequency that we're um up converting by here eight zero eight nine five zero 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 and then add that offset plus two oh sorry two seven oh, get it right in a minute two seven twenty so not surprisingly that's our that's the frequency we should be using so eight uh, eight oh eight nine five oh two seven twenty okay so if we stop this radio Select audio. Select the radio rather than definitions. Edit this. Okay. So we put in here two seven twenty. Apply, save, save. Start radio. Okay. And then uh Actually, with somebody already, we got a signal in there. Let's move over here. So if we turn on um, the audio, and then we transmit our tone. There we go. I'd say it's about two kilohertz. So our two kilohertz tone is now appearing where it should do, and we're hearing it on the downlink. So what we're doing is we're transmitting a two kilohertz tone. So it's, it'll be two kilohertz offset from this this band edge from the left hand side of this green bar this green bar that's our that's our upper side band and the lower edge of the upper side band is well on the left hand side so if you transmit a two kilohertz tone you'd expect it to a, a, a peak to appear two kilohertz into that bandwidth a bit like there So if we were to change that to a kilohertz, well, there's our one kilohertz tone. Okay, so um, let's kill that. So that's the, that's the size of it. So that's how you adjust your uh, transmit. Uh, f your transmit a converter frequency such that the tone or the signal you transmit appears in the correct position um, on the downlink or the transmit frequency is corrected 
four, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, I hope that made sense. It's, I know it's a little bit convoluted, but um, it's radio for you. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.